Prince Hotel works uh, like this. Every month you get 80 euros on your smart card and basically you can spend that money um, on food but you can also always put more money on your smart card and this is already included in the tuition fee that you pay for the first year. And then for lunch you have lots of options actually. You always have a range of different sandwiches, also vegetarian sandwiches. So for example today we had um, tuna salad sandwich and roast beef sandwich with truffle mayo. And um, then you also always have a salad um, and a soup of course. The soups are honestly the best thing. And they only cost 90 cents and they're always freshly cooked, which is amazing. And then you also have paninis or sausage rolls. Sometimes you have some specials such as a frikandel or a broche croquette, which is a Dutch specialty. Um, and then you, of course, always have delicious dessert from freshly baked brownies to donuts to just Tony's chocolate chocolate bars or other um, yeah, cereal bars. And then, of course, you can always get some drinks. And uh, usually the prices, yeah, like I said, for soup it's 90 cents and a sandwich will be one euro something. So in total, um, if I, for example, get a sandwich, a soup and a dessert and a drink, I usually pay around six to seven euros, which is perfectly fine because the quality of the food is actually really good. And yeah, there's always options uh, for everyone, which I think is truly great. Hello, today I wanted to give my opinion on food credit. So the way food credit works at Bath is basically some accommodations offer on top of, you know, the regular money you're paying for the room, extra money that you um, spend on food um, because they do have a canteen that, you know, offers like daily lunches and dinners. Um, I personally didn't have it, but some of my friends did and everyone's experience that I've talked to was pretty bad because the food at the canteen was not that good. So people just ended up preferring to self cater. And at the end of the day, that is money you're wasting because you are paying extra for food you're not consuming. Um, the only kind of plus size to the food um, credit that I see is the fact that you can spend the money at the canteen, yes, but you can also spend that money at the various um, like establishments there is around campus. So that could be the lime tree, that could be for West. You could get a coffee, you could get breakfast, which at the end of the day is money you are saving. But I just think overall, it's not worth it because you don't spend the money they give you weekly. There's always so much money left over that you really just can't use any other way. So yeah, in my opinion, it's way better to self-cater. So if you're on campus and you get hungry, uh, there are several different options of places you can go to get food. Now the main one is the Menza. Uh, it's a big building in the middle of the um, uni grounds. Um, I would call it a canteen, but it feels a lot fancier than a canteen. It's a huge building um, and there you can buy full meals, you can buy snacks, you can buy pretty much anything you want. They have a bunch of different meal options, so rest assured you'll probably find something you like. Uh, there's also vegetarian options, vegan option options, etc. Um, and the meals are actually very delicious. Um, now there's that option and then at the Menza you can also eat food that you brought from home which is pretty nice because uh, personally I like to just hang out there with my friends and then we all just either buy food or bring our own food and then just hang out there. Um, you can also go to the Albert Hein to go which is just a tiny little Albert Hein that sells sandwiches and drinks and stuff like that um, and they have a self checkout there so it makes things really simple and easy and then right next to that there's also a Starbucks so if you don't find anything there you can still go to Starbucks. Um, and then, uh, yeah, my personal favorite thing to do is to buy some food from either the Menza or the Albert Hunt to go and then just find a spot um, around the uni campus, like uh, on the grass, either under a tree or in the sun, and then just read a book or play cards with some friends or just hang out there. And yeah, that's what I would recommend doing. <laughs>